John Cena has said himself that people like his boyish good looks, and it's apparent that he has a way with the ladies, especially his co-workers. My name is John and these are 7 WWE superstars who got some from John Cena. According to Randall Keith Orton himself, Kelly Kelly has been with a lot of guys in WWE. Orton stated that he was one of them along with the likes of Chris Jericho, CM Punk, Batista, Dolph Ziggler, and John Cena himself. Cena and Kelly Kelly were spotted many times together off screen. It was even rumored that Kelly may have even been told during negotiations for her new contract that she should take time away from the company to avoid the media reporting on this instance. I wouldn't put anything past a certain someone, but we don't know for certain. Okay, I think by now we all know John Cena and Mickey James were in a relationship during the time of them also being paired together on screen. This is probably the biggest affair that the public heard about regarding Big Match John, as this ultimately led to three relationships ending between Cena and his wife, Mickey and her boyfriend Kenny, and of course Cena and James. This then led to Mickey flipping out backstage about her relationship ending with Cena, and then leading to her subsequently being drafted to SmackDown which would cause the C-Nation leader to get a little more bored and start hanging around with Kelly Kelly, who also took time off after being seen with Cena and then supposedly breaking up. Is anyone else seeing a pattern here? Now this is obviously 100% pure speculation, so don't take every single word I say and preach it as if it was being whispered into your ear by Big Match John himself, but I heard that John Cena and Nikki Bella have gotten into the same bed with the blankets tucked in ever so tightly and fell asleep. All jokes aside, we all know that Cena and Bella have been dating since 2012 and have continued to cohabitate in Cena's bomb ass house in Florida since 2014 when she also allegedly signed a contract to live there. I wouldn't be surprised if that one is actually true. Just look at that baby. Melina has had her fair share of locker room hookups in WWE. After all, she has been with Mike Knox, Batista, John Morrison, CM Punk, and once again, it's John Cena! Oh, I bet you didn't see that one coming! Anyways, while she had apparently spent a short amount of time with Cena, she had also earned a reputation for not only being a bit promiscuous, but for also being very sanctimonious as she praised herself multiple times backstage. With those characteristics in mind, she was eventually released from the WWE and did her best to rebuild the bridge between her and the shaman of sexy John Morrison. While working in WWE's developmental territory, OVW, Maria met her first WWE lover in CM Punk. The two dated from 2005 to 2007, until she started doing interviews for a certain holder of a PhD in thugonomics. She has claimed that they were very good friends and that they would enjoy many breakfasts together while on overseas tours. She also claimed to have a pity for the Bella Twins for their insecurities and jealousies. Hmm, I wonder why. When asked about kissing John Cena on screen, she claimed that she was nothing more than an actress playing a role, and that it was not reality. Maria ironically seems insecure about people assuming that she dated John Cena. Victoria was a pretty successful competitor, racking up a total of two women's championships during her tenure with the WWE. Aside from her accolades, she claimed in an interview that she and John Cena dated for over a month back in 2002. Also, Kenny from the Spirit Squad claimed that he saw them together and claimed that they hooked up on the road, referring to Victoria as one of John Cena's road girlfriends, as these alleged hookups were during a time in which Victoria was married so she obviously denied these allegations, which makes sense seeing as though cheating on your spouse is moral and, well, against the law, but I think any man would understand losing their lady to a lad like Super Cena. Victoria stated that she had her ups and downs throughout her 20-year marriage and only dated Cena in 2002, but why would Kenny lie, especially if he's just trying to be a good brother and inform everyone of the same thing that happened to him? Rumor has it that after John Cena and AJ Lee did some work on air with one another, they ended up seeing each other for a very short span of time in 2012. Shortly after this, John Cena would begin dating Nikki Bella, 
and AJ Lee would later marry CM Punk. So it makes sense as to why neither party is talking about the incident at hand. This might also explain some of the tension between AJ Lee and Nikki Bella, as they had trouble cooperating during their feud. And these were 7 WWE superstars who got some from John Cena. I hope you're all having an awesome day, thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I'll see you later with more wrestling videos.